Hey guys, it's B Taylor TV and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about Chanel Amon, the former model who was married, formerly married to Sterling Shepard, who was also an NFL player. She just got a divorce in 2022, January of 2022. And just this week in 2023, in May, she announced that she is having her third child, but first child with Devon Godache, Robache, no, Godache, Godache. I don't know how to say his last name, but he's also um, a defensive tackle for the New England Patriots of the NFL, and they are expecting their first child together. And as many people were congratulating her, I couldn't just help but to think, how do you start off as a wife and end up as a baby mother? Okay. Now, this is coming from somebody who has made mistakes in her life, bad decisions in her life, where I did not get the ring before the baby so I live with those consequences and I love my children and I deal with the decisions that I made and continue on with them and I do the best that I can do. But what I don't understand is how you start off as a wife and end up as a baby mother. She already had two children with her ex-husband, Sterling Shepard. And while I don't know why their reasoning for divorce was, and rightfully so, if he was, you know, if that had anything to do with infidelity or abuse or whatever reason. But to go and start a new relationship, a, less than a year of your divorce, divorce, and to have a baby with this boyfriend, I just don't recommend it. It's very ghetto. And she already was a wife. She was already able to get a man to marry her. Only for her to bring in another child, a third child, out of marriage. I just, I don't see the concept. Let me know your thoughts below. You know, I know things can happen just like things happen for me. And I've heard of women you know, being baby mothers and becoming wives. But to do the complete opposite is just astounding to me because I feel like once you're a wife, you know the importance of that title. You know the importance of bringing a child or children under a coven of your husband. So for Amon to decide to have a child with him and they're not, getting married. They just started dating. She just recently got a divorce only for her to get knocked up once again, but not by her husband, but by a boyfriend. So it just seems to me she's moving backwards and that's just mind blowing to me. Let me know your thoughts below because look, let me tell you, my children, children are a blessing, but sharing weekends and having your children every other weekend and you know, let me tell you one thing about men. They switch up. If that man didn't see you as worthy of being married, don't give him a child. And she should know she did not give her husband any children until they got married. Only for her to give her boyfriend a child. I don't know, guys. I'm trying not to be judgmental. I know things happen. I just don't understand how you can go from wife title to baby mother. And I'm really hoping that they will get married. And for those that's going to say, well, maybe she was traumatized by her marriage. So you're telling me you're more traumatized by marriage, but not bringing a baby into a situation? I mean, once a baby involved is involved, I mean, is marriage really that scary? A baby should be probably more scary than a marriage because if things don't work out, you have two children by your husband and one child by a boyfriend. Now, I'm hoping all things will go well, but the lesson here is the wifey status is very, very important because you're going to give that child 
the father's last name, and that man knocked you up, created a baby with you, but did not see you as worthy of giving him, giving you his last name. And I can say this because I know this from experience. Once you give that man a baby, you're giving the cow, you're giving the milk or the cow milks for free, right? Or whatever the saying is, you really don't have a leverage of marriage. Oh, you want a baby by me? Let's get married. If you feel like marriage is too fast and too of a rush of things, then so is a baby. First come love, then comes marriage, then comes the baby in the baby carriage. And there's a reason why that is in order. Because when you're out of order, you are submitting yourself to chaos, drama, a chance of being a single mother, a chance of being in a broken home. And as someone who has to live through that, I just don't recommend it. Ladies, demand the ring first um, before you give a man a, a baby. That. <laughs> that's one thing I can definitely say from experience. You are listening from the horse's mouth. It is ghetto <laughs> to give a man a child with no ring. Because the highest th- honor you can give a man as a child and the highest honor a man can give you is being a wife, depending on the man. But if that man is not good enough of being a husband, he has no business being good enough to be a father to your child. Now, I want to know your thoughts below. Let me know if you agree, if you disagree. This is not a channel that bashes single mothers. Okay, this is not a channel that bashes mothers who are not married. Okay, this is not a channel that bashes married women. It's just when I saw this, there was slight disappointment. And I can kind of understand how people felt about my situation. But it was like, okay, you were once married. You should know the importance. But where do you think her mindset is about marriage? Why do you think maybe she didn't require marriage before you know, announcing a baby. She could have easily got married. Her divorce divorce was finalized January 2022, which is, you know, a year ago, over a year ago. She's had time. If you can fall in love and make a baby with a man before you even think about giving that man a baby, you demand marriage or you're not going through with any type of pregnancy you want. You want me to give you a baby? Put a ring on it. Take me to the courthouse. Do something. Because that commitment is bigger. A baby is bigger than a marriage. I once thought that marriage was so much bigger because I never wanted to get divorced. But relationships are hard, guys. And when you give a man a child and he gets to taste it, he gets to sample it, He gets to leave if he doesn't like the sample. He gets to leave if he doesn't like how it tastes. He gets to leave if he, you know, find interest in wanting to sample other things. He gets to leave because there is no real commitment there. Men actually have a higher standard about who they're going to marry than who they're going to have a baby with. Sadly, that is the case. Let me know your thoughts below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.